So we finally updated our sample teams in NU, and naturally, I like to steal samples when I don't feel like using a team of mine that I built. <laughs> so I got this Guts Ursaring team, shout out to ZS for building it. Guts Ursaring is something we've seen a couple times in our games, and I'd be lying if I said that I haven't always been incredibly intimidated by Guts Ursaring. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about one of the strongest Pokemon in the format, man, after that Guts boost. Whew. And it's got Trailblaze and Terra now to make it even harder to revenge kill. Sick. Um, opponent's team in this game, I'm leading Electros, because there's not really anything that matches well against it. As they lead off with a Quillfish. And I can just go for a very, very safe discharge. Yep, and they Toxic me. I'm okay to take that Toxic. I don't really mind getting poisoned with my eel against a team that... You know, doesn't really have anything. So he goes up to Zard here. Am I getting Terra grounded? I'm scared. Help. I did. I just got Terra grounded. Wow. And I live the overheat with ease because I guess there's Scarf. Oh, uh huh. Help. What does this mean? Help, guys. So, my guess is I will tank this hit with my big Urshering, and I'm going to facade this man into the Shadow Realm. I see. So, I've been outraged by a Charizard after being overheated by it. Um, In-game set. Looking at... Anyhow. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to keep this around because it could uh, blow back the Chansey. Um... Do I have this on loop? I do. Beautiful. I'll go into my conda here. He might set up Stealth Rock. I'm okay with that. Doesn't really mean too much to me. As he just goes for Brave Bird. Tank that pretty easily. And they take a million from Recoil. And I will... I'll go for a Stone Edge here. Sure. As I do miss, unfortunately. Could sack this, but I like having it around to force Recoil onto this. I think we just sack the Eel here, then. At least they've already Terrat, which helps. And I'll go for U-turn. Maybe maybe they're scared that somehow I'm fa Actually, if I were faster, I'd always discharge anyway. Yo, they switched for no good reason at all. That's crazy. Means I get Big Ursh back in. CC stronger. I'll go for CC just to facade the second turn. Maybe this makes them think that I'm going to CC again, and they go Scyther. But I'm not. <laughs> I will facade this. They could they could obviously keep protect stalling my HP down, but I don't think it matters. As they take 76 from me that turn, that's beautiful damage. Yes, you can go for that all you want. I'm going to facade your team into the Shadow Realm. Pick one. So we get rid of Chansey. The Stealth Rock I'm not really worried about, because I'm boots on my Scyther. I can always just sack Eel as well. We will sack you here, as they go for the U-turn. Which, frankly, I'm pretty content to see. I do, again, I think this is Scarf, so I still need to be careful about it. I've got Marini. Marini at full should be able to tank a hit if I need it to. If they go into Clawitzer, I... Hmm. If they go into Clawitzer, I was going to say go into a Pass. I think we go Marini now. Obviously, we are very bulky. I will go for my Toxic. And Scyther doesn't have knockoff. So I don't have to worry about losing my item here. As they go Claw Witzer. And get that juicy, juicy poison off. My guess would be they go for a like Dark Pulse. I'll stay in and recover once. Ooh, that did more damage than I anticipated. And I do want to run the calc real quick. I just I just need to know. Claw Witzer. And since they switched, I'm almost... <laughs> I think my eel could be faster, because they switched out. Technically, I could EV for that. So if they're max HP, I just need them at 80. I'll sack eel here. The mon doesn't do anything for me at this point. Um... This is still an annoying mon, you know? I'm gonna go up to Simeon. And I will Terra fighting. As they do just sack. Good. Went for my Terra with this guy. Because I did want to have 
as best of odds to get rid of this as I could. Hmm. Go Conda versus this, I suppose. The Trailblaze. Oh dear. Um, I might live a hit from this. Please hit. Thank you. Alright, I think getting rid of that there secures us the game. I'll go for rest with this. Oh, Knock actually KO'd me. That's crazy. But, either they're scarfed and they can't KO my pass now. Or, yep, I outspeed. So I guess they were, um, banded. Or just not choiced. <laughs> not choiced, I think, makes more sense. Because the damage that they did versus Conda, I don't think would have been from a banded Bombardier. Bird, Brave Bird, I feel, should have been, like, two-shotting me with ease, you know? <laughs> oh, boy. That was a good game, though. Earth Swing, Earth Swing did a lot of work. Just getting rid of that Chansey. Um, I think I used Facade on something else, too. They did a lot of damage, so that was good. And, yeah, we'll pause while we get this next one, guys. I'll be right back. And we are back. I'm facing one of the new sample teams, actually. Makes me wonder if this is uh, <laughs> just a new player that saw that we updated the samples and said, Ooh, cool, mine. <laughs> or if this is uh, ZS using his own team. Anyhow, I really like Ursaring this game quite a bit. A little bit prediction reliant, just because of the Conda plus the Blim. So, you know, it's not like super simple spam facade win game. But if I get a claw off on this once, I'm feeling pretty good. And... I'm Guts, so I don't care about getting Flame Body Burned. You can switch my Ursa Ring in with Impunity into the Drift Blim, and just take the game from there. I also do like Eel quite a bit, so I'm going to lead with my Electros. As lead off with the Passer. Man, I don't care. I'm discharging. That is the Passimian, by the way. <laughs> that was the Passimian U-turn. That was Zoroark. We would have taken, like, three. As a little Discharge, though, coming for that wall. Looking for that Swalot. Get a Good ass para. That's really good. Because now we can U turn and get in my conda. I just set up rocks. As we go for a toxic, we do not care. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. And what's probably going to happen is I'm going to set rocks as Driftblim comes in. Or their own conda. Now, I can always go eel here, thankfully, because even if this is Zoro, I still check, which is pretty cool. And I will U-turn. As a Swallower comes in, and guess who's coming in? Guess what bad, bad man is coming in? I cannot say what- I, I cannot say this name. I, I don't speak what I think is French. But I'm gonna go for my nice little Shadow Claw here. As I go into Conda. I should have facaded first. But it's fine. I really want to just facade anyway. I feel like Eel is so easy to read here, and they'd go into like Swalot or Psimian. Um, I'm gonna go Eel anyway. I don't think you got that in you. Yeah. So I was right. I can discharge here now, as we're just gonna continuously get more damage on the Swalot. The Swallower is not having a very good game. I'm actually gonna go for. Hmm. I'm gonna go for another. And we actually get the full para, which is insane for me, and I could just discharge again. Yeah, okay. This is so cringe. <laughs> uh, it's so cringe. I misplayed. It's okay, though. We get rid of that. And with Swallow being gone, that is one CC. Resistance removed. Santa comes in. I can just U-turn here. Got a big Ursh. I'm not just facade. Hmm. They really made that play. Wow. I'm curious here. Ursaring. I'm not 1v1 of Violite. Unfortunately, I am Jolly. <laughs> so we're not as strong as we could be. Um, ability Guts. That was a misplay on my part. I knew what they were doing and I still didn't act on it. Burned. 
Drift Blim, NU Defog. I'm pretty sure ZS does not run that. So we're going to get rid of all of that. Shadow Claw. Where's Ghost? Ghost. Terra. Hey, I see a chance. That's all I'm saying. This dude went for Terra Fairy. He knew. I feel a little bit attacked, but this is also great for me, because now there's nothing that resists Facade on his team. Which is pretty cool. You don't KO me with anything, I'm standing and surfing. Yup. I'll Toxic on here. I think you gotta switch. You don't play this game. You do not play this game, because if you don't wake up, then you're just getting messed up. So I'm gonna immediately Toxic Predict into Vaporeon here. That is a terrible play from my opponent, um, but it's fine. Go into Eel here and we just Giga Drain. No Grass Resist with the Drift Blim Terran. Yeah, I don't know, I just don't really think that was a very smart play. Drift Blim comes in. I definitely do tank a hit, but I don't think I need to stay in here. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm about that life. I'm about that life. So we're gonna calc facade as well. Oh, beautiful. Facade smashes him. Even to go conda here, I should be able to KO the conda. As they stay in, I'll gladly take rid of, rid of Drift Blim, because Passimian Close Combat is looking just scrumptious. It's looking really, really, really safe to spam out. So I'll go Scyther here. So Passimian comes in, that... Huh. You know, normally, Passimian does not take Stealth Rock damage like that. I'm gonna stay in and hope I outspeed. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, this is sub-Encore Zoroark. Now we just go into pass and CC twice. You see how little that takes from CC, though? Oh my god. Disgusting. Disgusting behavior. So this is the Passimian, and here I think we just, I just go my Conda. I mean, this thing's literally tasked switching into this. And now we get a very, very safe Earthquake. Very nice and safe. And Marini can come in, just throw off a Toxic. As they actually go into this, which is also fine. We got Soif. And then we got Toxic. I mean, if they Encore, obviously I'm just surfing again. Okay. Yeah, that's not a big deal at all. I will throw away Eel now. And then just go into my Passimian. And yep, they forfeit. So Ursary putting in a lot of work once again. I could have probably got it to do a little bit more if I didn't just, for no reason facade into a very safe Drift Blim switch for my opponent, but you know what? <laughs> it still got rid of the Drift Blim. And look at, look at this. You know what? I'm, I'm really happy to see this. We see a whole bunch of people laddered with the new sample teams. Here's another one of them. This team, you might remember it. It's the team that we used a couple videos ago, the Specs Claw team, except for the sample, I replaced the Jolteon with a Rotom only because, you know, I saw a lot of y'all comment saying, hey, not too sure I'm a fan of the no fighting resist, and I agreed. I will say that every matchup against a fighting type still felt winnable, and Togki was mentioning in their tour games, they, and I guess any other games, they've still felt like you could play pretty fine in the opposing Pasibian, but for a sample it seemed pretty reasonable to have it be a bit safer in one of the best modes in the format. All that to say, this Ursaring is about to destroy my opponent, because this is not fully fist def Santa Conda. There's a Coil Conda. And as a result, it's not going to be taking that sad all too well. I also just really like Marini lead. Like, look at my opponent's team. We already know that we live this hood, so I'm going to Toxic. If they Terra, I am dead. I mean, there's simply nothing I can do about that. If they Terra, I am dead. Good night, Marini. That crit may have mattered. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it did. My opponent, though, uses their Terra turn 1 to kill a Marini. Which I'm pretty content with. I am pretty content with that. 
My opponent does not know that they're allowed to switch their Pokemon out, apparently. Which is very interesting. We're gonna go to my big Ursh, though. I'm going to Facade. Even if they switch into Rotom, it's perfectly fine by me. I kind of want to Trailblaze because of that, but I'm not messing with this threat. Pokemon Battling 101. Do not mess with the big threat in front of you. <laughs> Sometimes you need to, but this is not one of those cases. I think I'd rather just click Facade. If they go Rotom afterwards, um, not the best for me, but like I said, I would rather go for the safer play here. And I already know, they're checking the samples right now. They're looking to see, okay, what's this Earth Ring set? And yeah, they do not know that I am jolly, I guess, and fast. <laughs> not bad. Okay, so Claw Witzer did end up getting rid of my Marini, but... Again, it's kind of just whatever. They busted Terra turn 1. I now still have my Terra. So as they go for Simeon, I could actually go for, um... Terra, if I really wanted... Man, do I really want to risk getting knocked? <laughs> That'd be so sad. And we just go Conda. As they CC'd. Which, that's fine by me, man. Because we're going to set rocks here. And as they go Lorantis, you know what I'm going to do? I'm a hard Pissimian. Risk everything. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> I'm going to risk it all here. I have no reason to make this play. I just kind of want to flex. Let's see if it works or if I get punished. <laughs> I think it a crit. Come on, dude. My opponent is so lucky. It's fine though. I don't. I don't really care. It's annoying, but we got rocks up, and that's still just generally nice to have. And I'm again. I'm still really liking Ursaring. I would like to get some chip on this, but hmm. I think right now my question to myself is what do i do thank you get a little bit of crit back let me go scyther as they stay in so now we're gonna loop them i can actually aerial ace here and like beta and rotom and terra but i think that's pretty worthless if i was trailblaze i'd consider setting up here but we're not so we're gonna u-turn we're gonna ko the lorantis if they switch out i'm pretty content with what could come in as they go to simeon which is definitely not the right mon to go to so I'm just going to go into this here. And I'm going to Stone Edge. The crazy play would be if they stay in and CC me. Well, that's also just a bad play. But it worked out. I think it's a bad play because if I EQ'd, this Mon was dead to Stealth Rock, I think. Or it had like one more switch in. Which, not exactly ideal if you're my opponent. We're going to rest all that off. Bombardier comes in. Unironically, I think Scyther walls this, which is really funny. Um, by walls it, I mean it has knockoff, but it's not that bad. And Rotom coming in on Aerial Ace, this is pretty good for me. If I get Chip off on the Rotom, I'm pretty happy with that. Just because it means that Ursaring doesn't have to worry about it as much. I get another crit back! Wunderbar. Very nice, very nice. And I will U-turn here. Meh. Yeah, I'll U-turn here. I mean, no matter what, it just means I'm sacking this later. Uh, I don't want to go past, because I don't have a whole bunch of turns left with it. Went Conda. I don't know if Shedskin could have proc there, but we'll pretend like I went to it hoping to proc it. <laughs> um, I'll probably just sack Scyther, based on whatever they go to. If they go Rotom, then Scyther sack lets me see what Rotom's locking into. And I'm honestly thinking I could just trailblaze up with Ursa Ring and win this. This comes in. We'll sack Scyther. And this isn't even Choice Scarf, so I'm faster after a trailblaze. That's the nice thing. The main issue is just I don't know if I'll beat down Conda. I think I do. Um, let's actually just see the damage. Yeah, that's some good damage. So, Facade almost always one-shots. So, if, say, Conda were switching to Trailblaze, we'd actually be in a pretty decent spot. I 
I'll go into my eel. I'm gonna U-turn here. I really hope I did not just throw away eel for no reason. What if I die? <laughs> would not be too good, would it? Would not be very ideal. Hmm. This might have been a bad play. I should have calced and sinned if I lived. Oh well. If we get KO'd, then we get KO'd. I'm not gonna let that stop me from having a good time and you turning. Ideally, you go Rotom, and then I bring in Big Ursh, and I just blaze up. Just Trailblaze. Like, ideally, you go Rotom as I go Ursaring and Trailblaze, and you hard switch into Sandaconda, and then get facaded in the head. And that might actually be the most ideal outcome here. As they stay in and they don't even... What? Wow, that is an insane play from my opponent. Insane. I will Shadow Claw here just in case Rotom comes out. I, I mean, look, I catch it done. So we get rid of that. If they go pass, I'll probably sack Eel. As they go Conda. Hmm. Oh. Well, they just coil up immediately. <laughs> That's not good for me. That is not good for me, because I do not KO a facade here. Oh, no. Yeah, I think maybe some of the crits my opponent got are coming back to bite me. <laughs> I could have had a Pasibian alive still. I d obviously, I would have played differently with it. Get a crit? Nope. Wait, my opponent chokes, though. Wait, that's beautiful for me. They coiled up thinking I would switch, but... Naturally, I did not switch. Um, I'm gonna check how much Trailblaze does at plus two. Oh, wrong one at plus two. I'm still gonna be faster. Or not faster, slower than... Pas Wait, no, I wouldn't be. Why am I saying I'd be slower than pass? It'd be faster. I'm going for it. Yes! Ursaring should win now. Nice. I'm faster than Scarf Pass at plus two. Let's go. That is incredible. That is just incredible. My opponent chokes and goes for Coil. It's like, I can't switch. I have to stay in. And just hope that I crit through your defense boost. Because what am I doing after switching, you know? Well, I'll speed here. You know what? I'll even I'll let them see. I'll let them see. I hope they go Rotom here, just thinking that they can burn stall. That'd be really funny. <laughs> Let's see it. Ah, they didn't. Well, there we go. Not bad. Big Ursaring coming up clutch. You love to see some of that. You really love to see the big bear come through. That was a really good example of Ursaring, man. I was able to get both my Trailblazes up. Was able to break through the conda. Now that's a demonic team. What in the world? Help! <laughs> help me! Help! 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 I'm a lead scyther. You're not supposed to lead with this mon, bro. You're supposed to lead off with your masquerade. Go for your sticky web as I break your sash and immediately default. Oh, oh no. Something far more sinister than I could have ever imagined is at play here. Oh. Wow. Okay. So. I'm gonna go Conda. I'm gonna set rocks. And we're just gonna see what happens. Because I'm not too sure what my opponent's team is. Now that I've seen Sandspit Sandaconda. Um. Their lefties on their Lorantis. Interesting. don't really want to go Marini, because I've got a terrible feeling I get packed. So I'm going to go Eel here. We're going to see how much we take. We take none at all. That's beautiful. Actually, like, the most ideal outcome there. Okay. Okay, so far. They go Conda. Okay, interesting play. Interesting play from my opponent. Now I could go get my Ursaring activated. 
I could also go... I mean, I don't really have anything else I'd go here. Let's actually just activate that. And then double back to Eel. This is a pretty good line for me, I think. And they are leftovers, so... They're not, like, rock for no reason. If they go Tomb there... Man, I don't know what this thing is going to do. I'll discharge it. As I go for a Shadow Ball and they do not do damage to me. I'll Giga Drain, you know what? No, go into your Konda here. Predict, <laughs> predict another Discharge and go Konda. I want to see it. If anything, I think they'd go Lorantis. But it's got a little bit of health back. We saw a little Shadow Ball did. We could, we could try to get a little bit of health through this encounter. Nah, I think we just discharge spam. Discharge spam is also a little bit better because it could potentially get a paralysis on Lorantis, and that'd be really good. Is there a real sucker punch out of absolutely nowhere? And we, I guess we just don't get full paras. I'll go Marini then. As I should keep that around, especially if this is like the you know glare rest EQ. I'll just throw off a Toxic here. Alright, so they have gone to Viper. They clearly know my set. <laughs> no, they actually don't. It just, this Mon switched the Poison into the Mon that learns Toxic. As this Mon does have Glare, that is exceedingly annoying. What if he's Rest on this? What if he's Rest, Glare, Sludge Bomb? Why did that do so much? I'm a Marini, I've got an Aviolite, and you still two-shot me with ease? What the hell? That is ins that is some insane damage. I'll go into my Conda here. If they go Lorantis, that's fine. I truly do not care. As they go for the Gunk. No poison though, that's good. And I can just DQ. I so the question is, is this Masquerade Quiver Dance, or is it like, Sticky Web? I could easily see it being webs based on this team. I'll sack the eel here. As they defog actually, which I'm perfectly fine, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll U turn. I forget if I was faster earlier, if we even know. Do we even know if I'm faster? No, we don't. He switched. We are faster. You turned it so much. I'll go hard scyther then. As they synth up. Wow. That is a weird play. But now we get to U-turn again. And I'm still looking to bait the Terra potentially. If they're Terra Electric, I would like to have that just used now. Makes it a lot easier to play against this for the rest of the game. As they instead go Conda. We why is this sand spit, man? This is so annoying. <laughs> uh, uh no. I don't know what to go to, because Earth Ring doesn't KO from here. Right? Like, I'm not wrong about that. Uh, where is he? Any utility. Why is it got speed? Let's just do full defensive. Oh, Facade actually packs this boy up. Facade snack wraps this man. Okay. They could go Spirit Tomb here, but that's kind of whatever. I should be faster than this unless he's max speed, and which point, and then, you know what? You got me. I will just say I have been owned. Is it going to the tumor? Shadow Clock, I don't know what this spear tomb is though. Like <laughs> what even is it? Man, this Kaya wet. I can't even risk Terra though, because what if it sucker punches me? <laughs> what if this terrible, terrible set sucker punches me? See! See! I called it out. And I'm a double to my conda. As they go for Pain Split. You know I have Tox, can you stay into Pain Split? That is so bad. They were willing to throw away their Spirit Tomb. What? Why would you do that? You already know I have Tox, you switched to Viper in earlier. Now you're going to randomly split? That is such a strange play, it makes no sense. I get my rocks back up, but now this mon's like back to full. <laughs> Which is exceedingly annoying. I'm going to throw off an EQ here. At least we're faster. This dude's team is just... 
<laughs> Why is it just randomly super stally, man? <laughs> he gets the special defense drop. That is really, really unfortunate for me. I could actually just EQ again and probably go Scyther and KO it the next turn. Man, I'm doing it. I've had enough of this bun. Don't you dare sucker punch me. Don't you dare. Oh, actually, wait, no. I dare you to sucker punch me, apparently. And we'll stone edge here just in case Masquerade comes out for god knows what reason. This is just the safe play at that point. Don't let this one have a free end. And they'd use the sucker punch and sack the tomb. I'll take that. Okay. That's fine. I think here we go into our Scyther. If they go into like Doom, I'd prob I'd probably sack Eel to Doom. Just worry that it's flame charge for, you know, whatever reason. So the Doom comes in. You're not, you're not Scarf. You're not. There's no reason. Why are they Scarf? You have Masquerade. So they're not webs. Nothing about this men's team makes sense. I hate, I hate it here. This is why I, this is why I hate laddering, man. Nothing about your team makes any sense, sir. You have a random Houndoom with a Scarf. And I get burned. Okay. It's over. Well, it's not over. It's not over, but wow, that is really, really, really stupid. That is really stupid. As Lorantis now is gonna just beat me. I'll sack Eel. Actually, it's not guaranteed to beat me. This is so annoying. <laughs> uh, it's so stupid, man. Why are you Scarf Houndoom with this stupid Masquerade, dude? What's the point? Unironically, what was the point? This is a really bad set. We kill the Laurentis. I mean, look, I could still win this. It's just hard. I don't know if Survivor is going to be faster than my Earthstring too, because he could be max speed. As he goes Masquerade. I have to stay in a facade. Right? Like, I have to stay in a facade, I think. trying to think. Because I'm not EQ on Passimian, so I can't really hit this. Uh, I feel like I need to keep this. To go for Bug Buzz. I'll Surf. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just over. The nonsense... The nonsense... Um, what's it called, set? The nonsense Houndoom is really paying off. I guess it makes sense, though, for it to be, um... I don't know, though, because no item... Or not no item, but, um... No boots makes me think it was Sash, so it probably was webs. Oh, well. We'll see if we can beat the dude's team. There's still an out. I could be faster than this, and I could be faster than Sviper. I never, never forfeit. <laughs> we, so we one charm through his uh, Terra Steel. Okay, that's pretty good to see. That is pretty good to see. Okay, come on, Ursaring. I'm about to get stuck. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.